Hi, I'm Isaac Harper and I'm an application engineer for the Building Solutions Division here at CADSoft Consulting. First, I want to be the first to welcome you to our AutoCAD 2010 virtual launch. I've been working with AutoCAD for a very long time, but I've never been as excited as I am about the functionality in AutoCAD 2010. During this presentation, I'm going to take you through some of the new enhanced function functionality in your new AutoCAD. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up a drawing that I have here. And we'll go ahead and move into the model space environment just so that everybody's familiar with this area. Now, with AutoCAD 2010, you can greatly increase your 2D drafting pr productivity without disrupting your creative workflow. Um, first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and draw a rough design of a typical geometry that I normally would be doing in AutoCAD. And I'm going to go ahead and just create any old shape out here as a polyline. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the geometric constraints to define and maintain relationships between objects, key object points, and the coordinate system. For example, I can ensure that two lines are, par are uh, parallel to each other by simply just selecting one line and then selecting which line I wish for it to be parallel with. Or I can go in and apply a perpendicular. For example, if I were to select this line to be perpendicular to this line, since the other constraints were already there, you will notice how it has automatically gone ahead and locked that into a perfect rectangle for me. Now, I can also make items that are collinear to each other. For example, I want that rectangle to line up with that line there. And notice that it's been able to rotate it and move it into position so that these two objects are in line with each other. An icon at the cursor, when I hold it over it, lets me know that there is uh, constraints that I'm about to apply and AutoCAD will prevent me from over constraining the object. Also realize that I can still use my tracking tools, things like that, to be able to make things a perfect size that I want them to be. Continuing on, the next thing that I could also do is I can use an auto constraint. What the auto constraint allows me to do is if I go ahead and take a look at the uh, constraint settings, you will notice that I have all of the different constraint types, what priority they're being assigned to, and I can simply either turn them on or off, the ones that I want, or I can even move them up in position of what priority. So once I've gone in and I've applied all those, I simply just select the objects, and that is exactly how they're going to get assigned. Now, if I roll my cursor over these toolbars, for the constraint bars is what they're called, you will notice that it will highlight each object that the constraints are being applied to. You can also move the constraint bars out of the way to another location if they are in your way. A um, couple other things that we can do here is I can control the uh, display of my constraints. So, for example, if I say hide all, I can remove them from the screen. That allows me to be able to see things a little better. I can do uh, show all. Um, or I can even use a function called show. And this allows me to be able to just show the items that I s currently select. So if I just pick those three lines, it is now only showing me the constraints for those items that I've selected. Now another thing, th thing that I can do that's pretty neat is I can use an equal constraint. For example, let's say that I wanted this line to be the same equal length as that line. See how easy it was for me to go ahead and apply that to it? Or, for example, let's say that I want the radius of this circle to equal the radius of this circle. Now, if I were to go into properties and bring both those up, they do have the exact same radius now. So it took it from the center point and drug this down. The reason why it took these lines is remember earlier, we had gone in and applied constraints off those, those uh, lines to match up with those endpoints. Now, a couple other things that I can do is once I've gone in and I've uh, applied those, I can go in and 
do a concentric to line up arc endpoints in the exact same uh, center location, which I really don't want to do that in this particular case. But I can also go in and do a coincident, and we're going to go ahead and use the O snap through the uh, center point here. And we're going to go ahead and choose the object here. All right, let's try that again. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and select coincident. We're going to line the center of the circle up with this object and notice that it went ahead and it pushed that so that they are lined up to each other. Let's go ahead and uh, do that to the upper one as well. And notice that we've been able to line that up. Now, from here, I'm going to go ahead and no grip on this and you will notice that I can grip edit these items and they still stay with their geometric constraints. Okay. I can even increase the width. And remember, since we made them equal, whatever happens to one side also happens to the other. Um, you can apply a fixed constraint, which will lock down a certain location. Let's go ahead and apply a constraint there. And now let's go ahead and apply a horizontal constraint to that option. And I'm going to select this line that's slightly at an angle. Notice that it forced it to be horizontal to the X plane of my current UCS. Now, and notice that the constraints still keep effect regardless of what area they're in. Okay? Now, let's say that you want to get rid of a constraint. So, for example, I want to be able to rotate take this back up where it was. I can simply right-click and go to Delete. And now, when I go ahead and highlight this with the other constraints in there, notice that I'm able to go ahead and rotate it right back to wherever I want it. So, with the new geometric constraints, you can see what kind of powerful geometry you can go ahead and drive through this tool.